It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood to be a gamer. Oh, to be a gamer. Woo! Welcome to One Away Dragons TV. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus. Right hand of Zeus, and we are back with a new unboxing, baby. And yes, I am bringing you that Asus ROG Ally. We're going to go over the stats. We're going to check out the buttons. We're not going to do the setup today because tomorrow's video will be a complete SSD installation. But what we will be showing is some accessories to go along with your new ROG Ally. And with that being said, let's get into this quick unboxing stat rundown and I got a bag full of goodies facts okay let's get into this raw alley unboxing first one hey this is looking pretty sleek let me see how this comes off nice little simple wrapping easy to get to one thing I can say, this device is light, man. We're going to get into them stats after the fact. Let's get into the feel and how it feels in my hand. Hey, that's pretty solid. Let's put that to the side and see what else we have in the box. This should be the power brick at the 65 watts charging. Okay. We have the 65 watt charger. Let's put that to the side over here. Let's see what else we have. Basic user manuals, warranty cards, and things of that nature. How to use guides. And that's it. But we do got a little surprise that they put in the box. This is the little stand that comes with the Asus ROG. And it looks kind of flimsy, but it's cardboard cutout and it looks pretty nice. Yes. This looks pretty nice. And this is what we're going to set it up in when I run down these stats. Now, let's get into the statistics of this beautiful machine. First, we're going to have one of the best things I've seen on any handheld to date is this fingerprint reader forward slash power button. One thing that makes this is amazing is you can sign into your machine, turn it on, just by holding your finger there. It does it simultaneously and jumps right into Windows. Left of that, we have the LED indicator buttons and left of that, we have the volume rockers. For those people out there that want to rock out and jam on this new Asus ROG Ally, what an excellent device. Now we have the XG Mobile port. Now, it also has a USB-C Gen 3.2. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is for the XG Mobile GPUs that's externally. Maybe I'll pick one up later. I'm not 100% sure if I want to turn this into a full desktop experience, but that's what this port is. It's a proprietary port. Now we have next to that is the USH, um, excuse me, UHS 2 port that can use the UHS 2 micro, micro cards. Now this is what's crazy. Those cards are expensive. Right now at 256 is like $150 and below to about a hundred bucks if you catch it on sale, but you can use Gen 1 UHS 2, UHS 1 cards and still get optimal gaming speed. This is how you extend your storage. And next to that, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack, which can take up to microphones and headsets combinations, and you'll be able to talk to your community while you're playing multiplayer games or everything else. Now let's get into the back of this device. Of device, we got two remappable trigger buttons now this is what's crazy they also can be held for different features using a directional pad and you can map out and make shortcuts with these two buttons and they feel pretty solid and very quickly and you also have the asus rog alley vent that's basically stitched out as the uh rog rog symbol and the vent for intakes and on top we also have two exhaust ports. Now, they keep saying this device is very quiet and we'll get into that later. We also have two rear bumpers and triggers, which these are analog, and you have the regular LB and RB buttons, which basically is built like a Xbox controller layout, which we have 
the two analog sticks, a D-pad, which seems pretty solid, but I have to put it through the test to see actually how good it, it feels in a fighting game, and the usual face buttons. We also have the face buttons here, which the, these act like the Xbox buttons in terms of back and start, and this is how you bring up the armor crate, and this is how you bring up other features that you can either want to use them as in customizable or other armory crate type features. Excellent. Now, let's get into the specs of this beautiful machine. Let's get into the t internals in this wonderful device. First up, we have the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme chip. It has eight Zen cores, 16 threads. On the graphics side of it, it has 12 CUDA cards, RDNA 3, Radeon iGPU 2700 megahertz is the speed. And it also has 16 gigabytes of GDR, DDR5 running at 6400 megahertz. This is a pretty fast machine. Now for the internal storage, we have 512 gigabyte 2230 NVMe PCIe ExpressLink 4.0 SSD. We also have a seven inch 120 hertz IPS display at 1920 by 1080, roughly 1080p. It's a free sync, it's a free sync screen. That means it helps you with no screen tearing and things of that nature. And it also has 500 nits of brightness. And I will be doing other videos for bringing all your ASUS ROG Ally video information and hands-on preview. It also has two front facing speakers at one watt per speaker. And that doesn't sound like a, not a lot, but this is definitely a Dolby Atmos situation. Now, it has a 40 hour, watt, 40 hour watt battery and a 65 watt charging brick. Now this is what's crazy. It takes 1.4 hours to charge this device fully. Now, that is an absolutely amazing amount of fast charging for a device of this size and magnitude and power. So now we're going to go to my bag of tricks and I got some accessories for your asses. Facts. <laughs> now, you know, your boy Lennon, when he buys some, he got full accessory and yes, I have a bag of goodies. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to pull out these goodies and we're going to see what's in it. Let's go. Let's get it done. First up, we have a 120 watt full plug rechargeable battery that's external. And yes, you see USB, you see regular USB A and USB C port. Only thing bad about this one, and it's also, hold on, let me get this right. It's a full flashlight. I don't want to do that to y'all again. Full flashlight, full port. Only thing that has a built-in fan. And it can charge this device up to four or five times. The ASUS ROG Ally. But look, this is the only thing that's bad with this battery bank, which has, a, like I said, a full plug. So you can go, you could play on the go with full turbo bars. The fan is pretty loud on this when it gets needs to cool off the battery but this is a nice piece of hardware. And let's get into a smaller option. Here we have a 65 watt charging battery, full USB C's, A's. You could charge them. You could charge multiple things at the same time. Same thing with this battery. But as you see, the different size and form factor is crazy. This is definitely more portable. This could charge up the device like four or five times also. But I just wanted to give you people options and when you press the button, it also has the percentage layout, which is awesome. So let's put that to the side. And you know you gotta protect your device. So this we have here is premium tempered glass. And yes, I ordered this early and we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna give you a full spec out on what it is. This is pretty good. This is made by New Royal and I'm gonna have all the links in the descriptions up below of any device where you could pick these up. Now, we talked about the, the, the 3.5 millimeter headset. What would it be without the ROG Sentra True Wireless? True wireless headsets, earbuds, on the go, gaming mode, full controllable app on your cell phone, iOS or Android, absolutely amazing, amazing 
pair of headsets and yes all of this will be in the description below and of course we have the Sambrin. I got a one terabyte. The two terabyte was out of stock. So I got the one terabyte. And right now, this is what I'm gonna upgrade. The video will be coming tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna do a full installation as we get the ROG Alex set up. And this is the one that does it for me. And I'm gonna show you how well this fits in the bag. This is a Toka bag. This was made for, for the Steam Deck, but it fits Rog Ally. Full thick cushion to protect your device. Strap Velcro to keep your device snug. And it also has a space for your analog sticks. Won't get damaged. It also has a pouch here. It has a pouch outside where you can zip up, put accessories, memory cards, and things of that nature. And I also have something else that's going to be key that when you want to set up. I know they don't have an official dock out yet, but I got the iVolver dock. Now this dock is special. This dock is special for one reason. When you use your 65 watt charging and you plug it to this dock, I'm gonna show you the stats that it has. It gives you full 65 watt pass through. And for anybody that wants to connect this to the TV, this is a valuable, option for the asus rock ally we have here full full ethernet cord hdmi out this will be your power in and you have three external ports internal i mean three ports usb a that you could plug up a keyboard a mouse and a hard drive possibly if you want to now let's get into what this setup looks like with some of this stuff hooked up to the rock ally and I'm still got to set this thing up. I'm going to come back with more videos or probably the end of this video. I'm going to show you, but I got to go set this thing up. But let's show you how it sits inside. Well, there you have it. The official unboxings, gamers and gamettes with all the accessories that I picked up. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And... Tomorrow, we'll be back with that SSD installation to show you how simplistic it is. Can't wait to do that video for you. And come here for all your ally news because we're going to be doing plenty and plenty more videos. I see y'all in the next one. Facts.